Hi, Pisces. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Pisces. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, keep in mind, Pisces, I am live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so if you want to come for the collective reading or ask questions, show up live here, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. All right, so we've got spiritual growth. All right, so something in your life, relationship, definitely relationship, okay? And it doesn't always have to be romantic is prompting you to grow spiritually. Something has kept you stagnant in a place of non-growth in terms of your spirituality. Something, excuse me, is pushing you towards spirituality. It, most times it's adversity. It's, it's a controversy. controversy. It is um, dysfunction. It's pushing you to, or, to believe in something more. It also could be an actual person. Uh, asking you to grow, um, to mature also. Um, there could be some, of, of course, relationship here. It could be with an older man, somebody who is going bald, gray, has a lot of wisdom, has a lot of life experience. They could have been married before. Uh, maybe they are not now. They're a single bachelor. Um, they're comfortable in their life, but maybe they're asking you to mature from this thing or this relationship or this person or whatever it may be. And they could be giving you good advice um, that prompts you to, uh, to maturity or to spiritual growth, uh, to thinking about, you know, why you met a certain person, why they're in your life, why this thing, this event happened to you. Um, this person is asking you uh, to ask yourself that ask the universe they're prompting you to ask the questions why here. Um, this could be you also. Maybe you are in someone's life um, to offer them spiritual growth here. You're in their life to offer them the opportunity to mature. There could be someone in your life, yeah, um, who's helping you to mature. Let's see what this is about. What is the advice for Pisces? Okay, get more information. Okay, so you need to get more information. So this also sometimes comes out when there's a toxic situation or there's some dysfunction here within a dynamic. Okay, you could be dealing with someone who's older than you or you could be the older party. Um, you have some type of uh, inkling, inclination that there's something is wrong. Something is, is off kilter. Something is off here. You're not exactly sure. The cards are prompting you to get more information before you make a decision, before you just go off the rails here. Um, there are helpful people around you. Talk to somebody who is um, attached to the outcome. They want to see the best for you and uh, maybe other people involved. They don't just care uh, to give you advice and, and they don't care what you do with it or if you take it um, or if your relationship, whether it be romantic, platonic, or familiar, they don't care if it dissipates or it falls apart. Talk to somebody who is... Um, attached to the outcome here because they're going to give you the best advice here there are helpful people around you you know if you if you are in a situation where you feel like there is going to be trouble getting out of it you don't know how to let go this also can be soul ties you know maybe you're having a hard time releasing someone or someone's having a hard time releasing you here get more information about why you're so stuck there or why they're so stuck on you um some people can be helpful maybe in a spiritual community also Get some spiritual guidance. Let's see what the outcome is for you, Pisces. Some of you, uh, uh, this could be like a third party situation that came into your life, right? And it's prompting you to mature, to make decisions, to be uh, precise about them, about your decisions of, of what you want to do, who you want to be, how you want to do it. Don't hang on to people just because. All right, so the outcome yet yeah, is the devil and the two of swords. Okay, so it's like you know that there's some toxicity, that there's some drama, um, that there's something binding you or holding you to, um, that there's codependency here, 
but um, you're failing to make a decision or you're failing to look at the fact that you're playing a part in this also. You can't just point the finger and say toxicity belongs over there with them. You're in it too. So you need to ask yourself why. Again, back to something or someone asking you or helping you to ask the questions why here. You know, why this thing? Why? And it could be about a relationship here with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe somebody that you live with or you want to live with or there's like a living part-time situation. I don't know what it could be. Um, you could be, you need to ask yourself, um, why are you so co codependent on this? Why do you want this so much? Uh, why are you obsessed with it? Why can't you let this go? Um, again, codependency is coming up. Two of swords also and why, why are you so compromising? Okay. Um, why are you so willing to negotiate uh, what it is you really want for yourself just to sacrifice maybe even yourself for this relationship? Somebody also could be asking to move in with you and you need to really question that here. Is that the best route to take? Have you been down this route before? Where did it land you? You know, don't be willingly deceived also here in the outcome. Somebody could be telling you that, look, they're only staying in the home or they're only staying with this person because of the children or the real estate or the whatever they acquire with this person. But there is more to the story. Get more information here. Someone could just be feeding you the lies and once again, willingly deceived. This is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. If you know that you need to get more information in terms of a relationship, comment below what you need to get more information about. Also, comment some of those uh, those uh, questioning emojis where that the one emoji has that little um, that little uh, circle around his eye or that little um, what is that little eyeglass. Um, also, if you know that you have some mature man in your life that gives really good advice, um, put that old man down there, the old man emoji down in the comment section. If you know that you have helpful people, um, I want you to put the thumbs up down in the comment section. Also, don't be willingly deceived, okay? I want you to put those X's, put those X's down in the comment section. You will not be willingly deceived. You will not allow this person to um, feed you the lies, the BS, okay? So put those X's down there, okay? All right, so... Pisces, I hope that it resonates for you. I hope you took something from the reading. If you did, you can always get back. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. If you're feeling moved to do so, catch me here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live. I do a collective reading. You can ask questions. Um, also, I have an Amazon wish list. If you feel moved to this holiday season, you could buy a gift from my Amazon wish list, okay? And if you feel like you just need your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there. Thank you. Many blessings to you, Pisces. Take care.